Well, this is going to hurt my wallet. What is up, obscure Mike people? It's me. It's Bark. I had to make sure I didn't have any switches or anything like that enabled. I've got something in the studio today that has become kind of a uh, a new obsession of mine. Ever since CAD sent over the E40, which thanks to CAD yet again, and they sent over the E100SX. Thanks for that as well. Something they probably couldn't send over though is this Equitech E100 from CAD. Luckily, thanks to doing this channel and having great viewers and having that cool audio enthusiast connection with a lot of folks out there that watch this channel, Mike Freddy, thank you for sending this over just for me to check it out and do a review and, and send it back to you. You trusting me with your mic, that means a lot to me. So thank you. And plus, the reason I said this is really going to hurt my wallet is I'm really starting to feel the CAD microphones. And I think a lot of it's nostalgia. I'm an Ohio guy. CAD's an Ohio company. But also look at it. I mean, that's, I just, I'm turning into booth junkie here. I really like these CAD Equitech mics. I like them a lot. And I think like Pokemon, I've got to catch them all. I've got an E100S on the way, so that'll give me the E40, the E100S, and the E100SX. Now it's time to dive backwards and, and find the vintage models. Vintage? Vintage. Vintage? Damn accent. Let's take a look at this thing, though. It is a thing of beauty. It is just gorgeous. I actually love the gold grill. You've got a power on and off switch because phantom power charges the internal battery of this microphone. I believe. I believe that's it. Got a low cut. We've got a 10 decibel pad. We got three switches, a square body. The back of this thing is built like a tank. The 5 8 thread is built like a tank. The XLR port just conveniently hidden on the back. I absolutely love the design of this mic. And I don't think I knew that. I've seen them, but until I got the E40, I didn't know how much I loved the design, the true visual aspect of this mic. And then you talk into it and it's like... There's something special about the way they sound. Like it's not, again, it, it's, it's a flavor. It's its own flavor. And there's just something very endearing about the sound of these microphones. And I can't quite put my finger in it. Oh, 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 oh. I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm not going to finger your mic, Mike. I promise I won't do it. But there's just something special about this whole line of microphones that I, I want all of them. I just want them. I don't know how much I'll use them. I think I'll use them quite a bit, but I just want them. You know, the Avlex AVS 77 is a mic that I've kept religiously. It's not going anywhere because it's just cool. It's different. It's me. And these mics, I think are me again, Mike. Thanks for sending the mic, Mike. Thanks for the mic. It's coming back to you, by the way. I don't want to keep it too long. I don't want it to overstay. It's welcome because it's not my mic. It's your mic, but let's talk into this thing. And yes, I will record a quick snippet of this microphone before I send it back to use in future snippets. So I will compare it with the E40. I will compare it with the E100S, the E100SX, and I'll try to cross connect and do those in little shorts, just like I'm doing the mic battles. Let's run this thing through its paces. I'm really happy with the sound already. I want one and I want it now. So now I've got to find one, but I want it in as good a shape as what this is. This thing is in pristine condition and it's, I just, I feel good talking into it. Let's do the tests. I'm done gushing over the microphone, I swear. Let's do the tests. First plosives, and I'm going to try to keep the driest mouth ever because this is not my microphone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. I was a little gentle there, and it still handled plosives like a champ, but a champ of garbage. A champ of crap. And that doesn't mean anything. I still love the mic. Plosive test is never going to deter me because you can talk past it. You can use mic technique. Technically, the plosives to me are the least important thing about a microphone. Least important for me, plosive rejection. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to appreciate when it's really good, like the SE DCM3. Really good. SM7B. Really good. It's definitely a high point. It's definitely something you can't knock marks off of, but... At the end of the day, am I going to use a mic that has terrible plosive rejection? Hell yes, I am, because you just use the mic technique or a pop filter, or however you want to do it. It just doesn't matter that much. 
let's get right on top of the mic. When you get right on top of the CAD E100, it sounds like heaven, at least to me. Maybe I'm biased. I'm just really into these mics right now, but this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the CAD E100. I love you, Mike. Now we're going to talk into the front of the microphone and we're slowly going to turn it for the off-axis rejection, 90 degrees off-axis rejection, doing really well right now. 180 degrees off-axis rejection. I see that diaphragm. It's a medium diaphragm, just like the E100S, 90 degrees again. And then we're going to spin it back around to the front of the microphone, and there you go. There you have it. Let's go ahead and run through the switches real quick. We got the low cut filter here. I just enabled that, and that is a good low cut. That is not an overly aggressive low cut filter. That is a nice, gentle low cut filter that I would be completely comfortable still using this mic with that filter on, even though I like it better off, because I do like the warmth. And the warmth is really good here. Let's go ahead and do the 20 decibel pad. Talking into the microphone, I'm going to turn the pad on right now. And now the 20 decibel pad is on. There you go. Now I've turned the pad back off. And I will say, I appreciate the negative 20 dB pad over the negative 10 dB pad. The negative 10 dB pad is, is useful, but uh, that's super useful, I think. I think a 20 makes a lot more sense than a 10. Just me. I really, really really have to have all these it's just a fact and i and i really have to remember the mic technique i just preached about because i i have popped it a few times during this but it's it's because i keep wanting to look at it I keep wanting to get my eyes on it you know maybe it's that gold maybe i'm like uh scrooge mcduck and i'm just really addicted to gold i don't have a lot more to say here i mean i, I said it all in the beginning these are hard to come by i mean they're out there they're not super rare you can find them but Finding them in this condition, going to be a, going to be a little tougher and you are still going to have to pay anywhere between two and four fifty, two hundred to four hundred and fifty dollars I've seen them all over the place. I got the E100S luckily for two fifty tax and all end up coming to like two eighty shipping all that. But, uh, but, uh, you, you're going to pay a little bit for it. You're probably not going to find this for 250 and if you do jump on it, even if it's not perfect condition, you may just have to jump on it and and put it in your collection if you like the way it sounds. I love the way it sounds. I really really do. I'm starting to think the condensers for me are in this Equitech line. I just like the way they sound on my voice and uh aesthetics do mean something to me because you can get away with a Donner PO8 for your podcast productions. It sounds good. Everyone's going to think it sounds at least somewhat good. There's nothing bad about this. So the fact that I know it's highly, highly usable, especially for me, and the fact that I just love looking at it, looks do mean something. They really do. You got to be happy with the mic you're using. And I'm really happy when I'm using this one. I'm not going to be sorry because there's no set price. There's nothing you can do to give it a grade and that, that be kind of anywhere near concrete, even in my book. So CAD E100, Mike, thank you so much for loaning this to me. All you've done is make me fall in love with it and, and made me spend my, my hard-earned money on it, but I appreciate you anyways. Thanks, Mike. It's coming back your way. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the CAD E100. Me, myself, and I, I am a fan. Maybe it's an Ohio thing. Secure Mike's. Peace out.